Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and today we're getting back to work on the woodshed build. This is a project that is really exciting to me because I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but also because I've been able to do it to this point by spending almost no money doing all the work myself. If you follow my channel, you're probably tired of hearing about these beams, but I'm gonna do the 30 second recap for the people who are new here. I got these giant railroad timbers donated to me for a project, and I cut them up, removed all the metal, and milled them up on my sawmill. It's been a time consuming, ongoing project here on my YouTube channel, but one of these we made a bridge out of for a local disc golf course, the second one has turned into this woodshed, and the entire building came from one of these beams. Well, it's good and warm out here today. We're doing six inches of overhang in each direction and 24 inch on center okay 24 inch on center There we go. Get that clamped, and then we get our toenail in. How many of you guys actually use a tool belt when doing this kind of work? I may have to go dig one out. I haven't used one in a while, but I'm sure I've got them. But I was, it's 100 degrees every day, so I'm wanting to work in shorts. But Jiminy Christmas, it's wasting so much time carrying my materials around. So I got a good pair of carpenter pants. I got my rafter ties in the back pocket. I got a front pocket full of nails, and a hammer loop on these. I guess I'd rather be hot than slow. That determines how long you're in the heat. So, I don't know. I guess maybe I just need to get a good tool belt. If you're new to this series of videos, I'll catch you up real quick. I'm using this twist style of rafter tie. I originally wanted to use the traditional rafter ties but my lumber is true two inch and those are made for inch and a half. So I had to go to the twist style. Then I'm using number nine by inch and a half galvanized nails. And I think that's gonna work out pretty well. I'm also toe nailing in with a three and a half inch twisted framing nail. If you can see the leaching of color on this other framing here, that's because I used air nails on this, which works great, but when they get rained on, they're going to break down and deteriorate. These are not necessarily meant to be an exterior nail. And I don't know if I can get exterior framing nails for my air nailer or not. I'll have to look into that. But once I cover it, that's gonna help a lot because this isn't supposed to be exposed to water. And so hopefully pretty soon, I'll have all this sealed up and that will no longer be an issue. So 
I'm gonna throw that first rafter up and I'll clamp one end then go to the other end and nail it up. Well, we're running out of daylight, but on this portion of the build, I'm down to that last board. So we're gonna get it stuck up there real quick before we get our final thoughts. I really like the idea of doing all of this with those beams and the reclaimed lumber, and I still have short pieces that I can use for the purlins. So I'm going to get even more than what you see right now out of those free beams. But there's kind of a drawback that those are old and used, and they've got some bad spots in them. So some of these rafters are not completely sound. So I'm going to have to scab some of them and reinforce some of the bad spots. But overall, I'm going to end up with a building that cost me little to nothing. And I'm keeping track of every dollar I spend, hoping to have this thing completely done with siding and the tin on the roof for under $500. All right, we made some progress. By the time you watch this, I'm probably on a boat in the Gulf of Mexico and uh, kind of feel like a slacker because I should be here working and doing what I do, but uh, I think I'll have a good time. And I thought this would be a great time to tell you guys how much I appreciate you watching my videos. Can't really put into words how much it means to, to me that you guys watch and follow along with the story. So, appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.